Yeah. Right on. Welcome to uh, Petra Kucha Night Volume 14. Uh, I know what you're saying. Uh, Travis got a lot better looking. And um, I don't blame you. Uh, no, obviously I'm not Travis, right? What? Um, no, my name's Anthony Taylor. Uh, some people know me as Hoots on uh, Twitter. Um, I work at Winslow Productions. I do writing and directing for video stuff. And then I do fun stuff like this when people ask me, which is pretty neat. The truth? There is no truth. The truth? The truth is a lie. It's awesome. It's a heckler on the first night. All right. That's fabulous. Blowfish? Where's your woofing? I'm woofing? Uh, Alright, right on. So, uh, what is uh, Pecha Kucha? Pecha Kucha, or as the Japanese say, Pecha Kucha, or as the Danish say, Pecha Kucha. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's uh, 20 slides, and everyone gets 20 seconds per slide to present their idea. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, little uh, presentation tool. Um, it was designed uh, with the idea that um, engineers or even creative people, sometimes if you have them talk about something they're passionate about, they'll go on for hours. And so instead, uh, you just give them 20 slides and 20 seconds per slide, and it's only 6 minutes and 40 seconds of potential boredom or really enlightening information. Uh, it was started in Tokyo uh, by these guys, Klein Dytham Architecture. Dytham, not Dyson, uh, didn't make vacuums, but um, pretty cool guys. Uh, Europeans in Tokyo. I found out, I gotta say this, uh, we say Pecha Kucha, right? But it's actually uh, Pecha Kucha, which I find interesting because you know, we're Americans and Fresnans and we'll say it any damn way we please. <laughs> Just complete ignorance of any cultural standards. It's beautiful. Uh, these are the global sponsors of uh, Petra Kucha and I Foundation Autodesk, which uh, there's probably seven people in this room who know what that is. That's right, raise your hands. Very good. Nerds, awesome. And for the rest of you, Heineken. Yeah. Beer. Uh, Petra Kucha here in Fresno is brought to you by Creative Fresno. If you don't know what Creative Fresno is, uh, you're lame. Uh, no, what is Creative Fresno? Creative, that's like one of those kind of ethereal questions. You can ask Hillary in the back and she'll tell you all about it. But I'll tell you what it is for me personally. Uh, it's a cool organization that does cool stuff in Fresno that's cool. So if you're remotely interested in cool stuff being in Fresno, be involved. It's a $20 membership fee. What you get for $20 uh, is, uh, number one, some pretty cool uh, discounts to some pretty cool things. But really you get uh, to support an organization that's bringing stuff like Fuse Fest, uh, Pecha Kucha Night, uh, and all kinds of other stuff. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the uh, theme site is Cities. Cities. Presenters found inspiration in cities. Yeah. Feels real here. You guys feel that moment we just had? <laughs> Felt real. Oh my god. All right. First up is uh, Melissa Olson. I call her Mo, um, or Momo, or Mosif. No? All right. All right, first up is Melissa. Give her a big hand, everyone. Hello. Tonight I'm presenting on Akron, Ohio. If you've ever met me or talked to me for, I don't know, five seconds, you know that I'm not from here. I'm from Akron, Ohio. I talk about it all the time. Um, it's a great city. It's the rubber city capital of the world, city of invention, and it's the hometown of me. It's another nickname for the city. Um, tonight I'm wearing a shirt from uh, the social department, themed on Ohio. We're gonna have a geography lesson right now because some of you might not know where Ohio is or Akron. Um, I know that people from Ohio aren't very uh, up to date on geography about California when I go home. It's really confusing. So Ohio is where that heart is. That's exactly where Akron is. It's in the, um, the northeastern part of the state. And for Californians, it's really hard to gauge size of things. So um, California equals 3.65 Ohio's. That's a lot, a lot of difference in, in scale. And we're gonna have a little bit more of a detailed lesson in a second when the next slide comes up because I'm gonna show you how far away things are from each other. Um, Akron, again, is where the heart is because that's where I'm from. 
Um, Wadsworth, the town right next to it, is where I was actually where I actually went to high school, which is only about 12 miles away from Akron. So basically, they're the same thing. Um, and the next closest city to Fresno is Visalia, and that's kind of crazy to me. But it takes to drive from Akron as far as long as it takes to get to San Diego. I'd be halfway through Kentucky if that helps you figure out stuff. Um, uh oh, I'm already getting behind. That's no good. Uh, this, this is good though. The, so the area of the city of Akron is 62.4 square miles as compared to Fresno, which is 112.5 square miles, but only 0.3 square miles is water, that tiny little square in the bottom. And the population of Akron is almost 200,000 people, um, and the metro area is 703,000 residents, and the average density is 1,500, so it's pretty crowded. Um, and the largest populations having uh, ancestral roots is German, Irish, English, and Italian. Oh, this is a good slide. Climate. So I come from a land where it gets really cold. So the low, the, the record low is negative 25, but it gets that cold relatively often. So that's really not that great of a statistic. Um, it's an average, uh, it's, it's rainy for 149 days a year. That's pretty crazy, wow. right? And it snows. Ice falls from the sky, you guys. Ice. <laughs> so, as I said earlier, Akron is the rubber capital of the world. One, at one point, it was the home to all four major American rubber manufacturers. That's all four of these companies. The only one that still remains in Akron is Goodyear, and um, they're headquartered in downtown, and they have, they have strikes regularly, so that's a, that's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> um, this is a canal in Akron. I know we have canals here in Fresno, but the canals in Akron are much different. They aren't to, uh, they aren't for any purpose. They were there to move ships through the city um, back in the Industrial Revolution. So now they're just kind of parks. And this is the baseball stadium in downtown Akron, which is Canal Park. Um, so it's basically like Grizzly Stadium, but it's called Arrows Stadium because our minor league baseball team is the Arrows. So we have fireworks there. It's the hub of downtown. It's where a lot of different activities happen. It's pretty fun, like the Grizzly Stadium. <laughs> um, this is another uh, regional landmark. It's the Derby Downs. This is one of the many things that people ask me if I know about when I tell them I'm from Akron. Um, it was opened in the late 1930s and uh, is the home of the All-American, oh, I'm lost now, oh gosh, the All-American Soapbox Derby. And you can see, oh, you can't anymore. You could have seen the Goodyear blimp uh, hanger, but that's okay. All right, so the Alcoholics Anonymous was founded in Akron. So obviously, obviously Akron has a drinking problem, just like Fresno. So that's, but you know, we were trying to take care of it. It still exists. But anyways, Dr. Bob is in this picture and people have pilgrimages to his house every year. And it's hosted on the college campus um, where I went to school and that's, it was really, it was really an inconvenience. Um, <laughs> this, these are the original silos from the Quaker Oats factory, and they were built in 1932. And now they are hotel rooms and college dorm rooms. Crazy. This house is Stan Hewitt. It's the seventh largest house in the United States. It was built by F.A. Cyberling, the founder of Goodyear. And at Christmas, ice falls on it. <laughs> Look how pretty the lights are with ice. I missed that, and I never thought I would. Isn't that, isn't that weird? <laughs> this, these are the four um, Goodyear blimps, and the last time they were all seen together was in 1999, because in 1999, the spirit of Akron unfortunately crashed. But the second one from the right is actually the spirit of Goodyear, and you can tell because it has a little yellow stripe under it. Fun fact about the Goodyear blimps, um, every year several people get uh, traffic citations for like swerving because they see it out the window of their car and they aren't from Akron. I know there's blimps in California, but it's a fun anecdote. <laughs> um, this is the National Hamburger Festival. It's held annually in Akron, Ohio. We claim to have invented the hamburger. That's obviously not true. We can talk about that later though. Um, these are some of my favorite places to eat when I go home to Akron which I'll be going in a few weeks and eating at all of these places. They're all junk food and really awful for you and everything is really high in calories, but it's the Midwest, so I only go back, I don't, well, I go back pretty regularly, but it's really bad for your health to eat at all these places, but if you're ever there, make note. Another thing people say to me when they find out I'm from Akron, Ohio, is if I know who the Black Keys are. I do, and I'm gonna be a jerk for a second and say that I've seen them play in the basement of a dive bar to 20 people and one of those 20 people was me. And the other day I told that to the bartender at Audi's who was wearing one of their shirts and he said he paid $300 for a ticket to Outside Lands to see them and I felt awful. 
Um, but the best thing about living in Akron um, was actually living in the city and making it my own place to hang out. That's, uh, this is a self-portrait of me with the Akron Art Museum in the background. Um, it's probably my favorite architecture in Akron, and when I came here, my favorite architecture was the, um, the city hall, and everybody said it looked like a spaceship, and everybody said that looked like a spaceship. So I'll close now in saying that if you ever feel bad about living in Fresno and you think it sucks, just remember, it could be the Akron, Ohio of California, and that means that it would be awesome. Thank you.